subtraction written methods too. Let's have a look at this calculation. 63,476 subtract 1,879. We're going to need to use the column method to solve this. First, we must set out the calculation, making sure that all of the digits are in the correct column. Now we must remember to always start at the ones. So we've got six subtract nine. We can't do this, so we need to exchange. We need to go to the digit in the tens place and subtract one. We then put a one next to the ones digit. What we've done here is we've exchanged one ten for ten ones. Now that we have 16 ones, we can subtract the 9. 16 subtract 9 is 7. On to the tens now. We only have 6 and we need to subtract 7. Again, we can't do this so we need to exchange. We need to go to the digit in the hundreds place this time and subtract 1. We then place a 1 next to the tens digit. This time we've exchanged 100 for 10 tens. Now that we have 16 tens, we can subtract 7. 16 subtract 7 is 9. On to the hundreds now. We've got 3 and we need to subtract 8. Once again, we can't do this, so we need to exchange. So we go to the digit in the thousands place this time and subtract 1. We then put a 1 next to the hundreds digit. This time we've exchanged 1000 for 10 hundreds. 13 subtract 8 is 5. Now on to the thousands. 2 subtract 1 is 1. And then 6 subtract nothing is 6. So 63,476 subtract 1,879 equals 61,597.